Okay, students, today's assignment is you're going to create a mic flag graphic for the broadcasting department. Um, just real quick, let's show what a mic flag is. A mic flag is this uh, box that goes around the microphone that reporters hold that shows what uh, station and or what they're reporting on. And you're going to create one for uh, Hillwood Broadcasting. Now, all three sides need to be the same for you. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to use rulers and guides to help you uh, design it, copy it, and, and copy it over twice so it's exactly the same and lined up and everything. So let's begin. So you want to start with a new file in Photoshop. Now I know my Photoshop looks a little bit different because I'm using CC, CC 2014 actually, and using CS 5.1, but it's basically the same. So let's go ahead and name this. Mike Flag and your name something like that and we want a printable document a printable document so we can choose any of these three here let's just go with US paper and the dimensions are the width needs to be 15 inches the height needs to be uh, 2.5 inches wait I'll take that back 3 inches by 2 by 15 inches so 15 by 3 leave this at 300 click OK you have a long narrow bar just like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit F so it looks in the middle of the frame. And let's use rulers and guides to figure out how to set it all up. Now look across the top and the left portion of your frame and see if there is a ruler showing. If there is not, hold down Command and hit R. And then hit R again. See how it brings up the ruler and it hides the ruler. Brings it up and hides it. Brings it up. So bring it up, and I want you to drag from the left side of your screen, put your mouse on the ruler, on the white ruler. Click and drag over into the frame and stop at 5 inches, right at 5 inches. And you'll see a turquoise line appear. That's called a guide. We use rulers to create guides. Now go ahead and grab another one and drag it over and stop it at 10. Now we have three equal sections, five inches, five inches, five inches. All we're going to do is design the mic flag for this section, and we're going to copy all the information over to the next one and the next one. And we're going to do that by grouping, just like we did with the planets. We're going to group all the parts that make this one up, and then we're going to duplicate it and move it over to the next one, duplicate it and move it over to the next one. So let's begin. Okay, I have thrown something together. Um, the reason why I didn't show you what I did is because I want you to create it yourself. So, this is just a, something I threw together. If I would have taken some time, I would have made it look nicer. I've made a black background. I've made several layers of text here. I've added two lines. If you hold down Shift, you can draw a straight line using the Line tool underneath the Custom Shape tool. Um, and then I've added some effects to the Hillwood here with Stroke and drop shadow, uh, drop shadow in white and change to normal for multiply and I've added some stroke to news and some stroke to topper little tiny stroke, see the white stroke? so just like in space we need to group all these elements together now the background stretches all the way across I filled the whole image with the background so I don't need to put that in the group because it's part of the three objects so I'm going to select the bottom layer of what I want to copy and select the top layer and it's command G to group now I have that grouped I'm going to name that left because it's on the left side now remember you can right click and choose duplicate group and name it center now before I move it I'm going to hit my move tool and I see I have two groups hit my move tool and make sure it's on uh, auto select group not layer now when I click anywhere in here on these objects, it's going to take the whole group and move it. So when I click and start dragging, I'm going to press down Shift so it stays in the exact same alignment as I'm pulling it from. So I'm going to drag this one over to here, center. Now then I want you to duplicate this group and name this one right. Right. Now I'm going to hold down um, uh, Shift as I drag, but I'm going to drag first click and drag hold down shift and keep it all aligned 
and I want to bring it right over here. There we go. Now when I zoom back, I have three groups, right, center, left, all with the same image. Now don't group those or duplicate them until you're completely happy with the first one because then you'll have to do it to all three, which is a pain in the butt because you're going to have to get it right aligned and everything. So again, rulers, command R to bring them up and bring them down. To make a guide, you click on the ruler and drag over. Now if the guides are bothering you, command colon and you can see it without the guides. Command colon. Um, and then command R to make the ruler go away. So you can get an idea of what's going on here. Uh, you build once one section. Oops. You group it. This is the right. I selected all the layers except for the background. And I hit command G to group it. And then I named it right. I'm sorry, left. I started with left, remember. There's left right there. And then I right clicked and chose duplicate group. It made another group. And then with my move tool, shortcut key V, I made sure auto select and group was selected on the control panel. And I just clicked and drug to the right while I held down the shift key. The shift key keeps it all aligned. Okay, the shift key keeps it all aligned. So there's my basic Topper News logo. I know you can come up with something better than this. Um, please save it as a Photoshop document. Let it be a PSD document first. So you want to hit uh, File, Save, and just save it. And then if you're ready to turn it in, which I hope you're not, because at least lay it out and let me look at it before you do the final. But when you're ready to save it, it's a Save As. File, command Shift S or Edit Save As. Or file save as, save as, and just change the word Photoshop to JPEG. And that's what you would turn in, okay? Any questions, feel free to message me through Edmodo. I'm sorry I'm not there today. Miss you guys, but I'll see you on Wednesday. See ya!